Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to be driving our heavy duty wrecker for our tow company Ace Towing and Recovery. And we have a job to pick up a Kenworth T680 and flatbed trailer and drop it off. I actually don't even know where we're dropping it off. I'm going to have to check. But anyway guys, welcome back. I really do hope you guys enjoy this episode. Let's go ahead and get our truck started. There we go. I go ahead and turn on these uh, lights and beacons for you guys. Take a look at that, guys. So it has been over a month since we used this truck. If you guys do enjoy, you guys want to see us hauling some more crazy loads, definitely let me know by leaving a comment and also hitting that like button as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. I hope everybody's having a great day and let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So we have our truck started. Actually, if you guys look right over there, you could just about see the truck that we're going to be picking up. It's going to be a Kenworth T680. So we're going to go ahead and reverse. And let's start backing this thing up here. Oh, would help if we throw it out of a uh, park, right? <laughs> so yeah, we are back in American Truck Simulator. You guys have been asking me to jump back in. It has been a while and I do apologize about that. But I hope everybody's doing well. Definitely going to try to do a lot of videos of this game. And uh, try to keep it a little bit more consistent as well. So let's see if I could uh, try to straighten up here. Looks like they have this thing on uh, Jackson's. I try to just back right into it. And we'll go ahead and attach. All right, looks like we are lined up pretty well. Let me just hop out and double check. Uh, we're a little bit off. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. All right. Go ahead and set our parking brake. We're going to go ahead and work on getting this thing attached. Ready to roll. And we are done. If only it was that easy in real life, right guys? <laughs> Alright, so we have our load. We are ready to go. We have it attached, chained down, doing our safety check. Make sure the light's good. Running airlines, everything looks good. Alright, so let me just check my information and see where exactly we are going. Uh, let's see. So we're going to Santa Maria and we're in Carlsbad now. Okay, so that's where we're going. Uh, let me jump back to the map. There we go. So I got 230 miles to go. Uh, if you guys are new to the game, honestly, that does not take long at all. Since it's all like kind of simulated at time, it kind of goes by super fast. So it says four hours, but we'll be done with this. Um, and really just a couple of minutes honestly so let's go ahead and pull this thing out let you guys take a look at what we're hauling again it's gonna be a Kenworth T680 it would be cool if they set it to like haul them to the dealership I think we just haul them to like random locations but it would be cool if they set it up like that that way we're like actually hauling it to the dealership service station or you know to a mechanic shop or something like that I figured that would be pretty cool alright let's Get hop back in that. try to do a combination of turn both that. first and third person for you guys oh don't pay attention to my poor shift in there I'm here looking at the truck was even paying attention yeah we're gonna kinda Lock the road a bit here. Probably should have waited. Hey, long load here. So any real truck drivers or tow truck drivers out Get there, anybody got their CDL, let me know in the comment section. And um, how is it driving these things in real life? I just do it in the game turn for right. fun. I know in real life it is much harder, of course. 
Let's watch out for this turgo. Oh, yeah, that's a little, yeah, that was not really a lot of weight, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> we were just kind of slow to stop there. Alright, you can go ahead and go with your uh, magnum there. Alright. Nearly took out that target trailer. That would have been terrible. I'm going to swing this like super wide here. Make sure we try to clear this curb. Looks like we got it. Yeah, I didn't have to swing that wide. I just wanted to make sure we take a safe air. Don't want to have any issues. All right, so we're leaving Carlsbad. We're gonna go ahead and hop on to the five northbound. Ooh, look at that international day cab. Nice looking truck there. What do you guys think about the internationals? Alright, let's go ahead and get on to the freeway. One thing I do like about... Oh, someone got pulled over there. Uh-oh. Well, one thing I do like about playing like this game, and um, also like, uh, what else we play? Uh, SnowRunner 2. I just love looking in the mirror and watching like your load come around. Hold on, let me uh, catch up with my shift in here. There we go. But yeah, that's one of one of my favorite things about like driving a truck is just looking in the mirror when I'm making turns and watching the load come around. Oh man, where am I going? There we go. Messed the gear there. So we got 220 miles. Again, as you guys can see, it's going down super fast. So it's not going to really take us too, too long here. Uh, this is a pretty easy load too since we don't have to worry about it being like a loaded uh, trailer or anything like that. It's just a flat bed. So it's still heavy but relatively light to what we normally haul. Okay, and then uh, see if I can get over to that left Stay lane. Left. Or middle lane. Line. I'm trying to look at a lot of the other trucks and brands and stuff like that that are out, or trailers, or companies I guess is the right word. That's the right word we're looking for, there's another one of those internationals. So what's, what's for everybody that play this game or anybody that drives, what's your favorite truck? Um, I'm a, I like Peterbilt's, um, I don't know, I just like the look of Peterbilt's, they're really nice. So a lot of the trucks I like to drive in game are the Peterbilt's. Um, but I, I'm a fan of everything. I give everything a try. We drive Kenworths, we drive the Mac, uh, we drive the International. I don't think I drove a Volvo though in this game. I think that's the one truck brand in this game that I never try. So I don't know. Maybe we should do episode with the Volvo. Hey, there goes Amazon. There's a pretty bad uh, Amazon trailer that wrecked out the other day a truck. How fast am I? Oh, I'm speeding here, guys. I'm just here talking, not even paying attention to my speed. I might get pulled over by Highway Patrol. Alright, I'm gonna get in front of this right car, then we're gonna kind of slow it down and get back to the right lane. Oh, what's happening up here? Is there an accident? Ooh. Oh, see, that's why you don't speed. It looks like he lost part of his load Stay there. Left. Couldn't really tell. But I did see a bunch of boxes on the ground. Alright, so that's more reason why we need to slow it down and take it easy, guys. We don't want to have any issues today. Stay left. I love the scenery in this game too, it's so nice. One day I would love to visit some of these areas in real life, you know. I'm from New York and I've been like up and down the East Coast, but I haven't really been to like the Midwest or the West Coast, so that's another reason why I like to do, play this game. It kind of let, lets me experience, you know, what it looks like out there. 
I know it's just like a game, but you know, it's, it's, it's pretty well detailed. They have a lot of like the landmarks and Stay stuff left. like that, so it's pretty cool. There's a Pepsi truck. Another thing I want to try out in American Truck Simulator 2 that I never tried. There's a lot of like car mods and stuff like that. So I want to try one of those car mods and just, you know, go drive. Stay right. What the heck is going on here? I don't think I can stay right, can I? Looks like the right is closed down. Yeah, alright, we got a detour, guys. So we got. I didn't add much miles, we're good. But yeah, like I was saying, I want to try out some of the vehicle mods from cars and SUVs and stuff like that. They seem pretty cool. That would be such a different, different experience. I'm so used to driving a big, heavy truck. And to be driving like a fast car or SUV would probably be fun. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Let me know if that's something you guys would like to see checking out vehicle mods. All right, looks like we're gonna be getting over to the right here. So we're getting on the 126 Stay less. Right. We're gonna uh, start right. slowing it down, actually. Turn left. Wait, nobody has a stop sign there? Or am I bugging out? I didn't have a stop sign and they don't have a stop sign. What's going on there, guys? That intersection didn't have a stop sign. That was a little dangerous there. This looks like it's going to be a windy road. Another thing I do like is the uh, track IR. Does this work with... Uh, I don't think it does. I wonder if it works with snow and track IR. Uh, basically what that is, is it's this thing you can put onto like your, like say a hat or you can put onto your headset. So if I look to the right in real life, it looks to the right in game. If I look to the left, it does that. If I go forward, oh, backwards, up, down, whatever I do it with my head, it recreates it in game. So it's really cool. If you guys will want to check it out, I do have a link, uh, Amazon link to it down below in the video description. Ooh, cows. Where are the cows? Oh, there goes the cows, guys. Cowsies. I don't know why we just got so hyped for cows. <laughs> We're going through some farmland right here. Just trying to take in as much of the scenery as we can, too. Oh, we only got 90 more miles to go, guys. So yeah, we're almost there. And of course, I'm speeding again. It looks like we're coming into a town, possibly. Speed limit's still 55, though. Oh my god, look at my engine. Oh, boy. That's one thing I always gotta remember to do is pay better attention to my RPMs, because I'd be all over the place. It's 
it's not much traffic. So that's pretty good. In New York, we're starting to get back to, you know, traffic and gridlock and stuff like that. Now that everything's opening back up and, um, you know, like the quarantine shutdown, all that stuff is over. So it's kind of cool seeing everything like open up again and get back to somewhat normal. Um, but it was nice being able to get around with no traffic. I went to Manhattan a couple of times and I live pretty close like because I'm in the Bronx and I live close to Manhattan. Um, basically it's two different parts of New York City. But um, normally it would probably take me about a good like Depending on traffic, you know, and the time of day, but it'll take me about like maybe 30 minutes to get to where I want to go in Manhattan. Like, not like the border of Manhattan, but like to say, like, say to Midtown or something like that. Maybe take about 30, 45 minutes because of traffic. Um, but without like the traffic and stuff like that, I was getting there in about 15 minutes. Like, it was crazy. It was so cool. <laughs> I'm going to upload some videos of that stuff too because, um, I did some vlogs and then also just did like some random videos and just taking a look at stuff. So uh, if you guys want to see like that kind of stuff, um, again, leave a comment too. I know I'm always saying leave a comment for this, leave a comment for that. But leave a comment. It's a good way I can kind of see what you guys like and what y'all don't like. But um, I'm going to be uploading that on my other channel. That's going to be on Ace on the Move. Uh, that's my vlog channel. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you aren't already. Oh, look at the water. Is that a cruise ship? Oh, I thought that was a cruise ship. Wait, we got to get another screenshot over here, guys. Whoa. All right, so normally I edit out when I take screenshots, but I just got kind of excited. I got a train over here. We got our truck. We got the order. Man, I wish the light lighting was a little bit better over here, but... I think I'm still going to try to take a screenshot anyway. I'm going to go ahead and just move forward a bit here. But boy, oh boy, look at how much is going on here. We're racing the truck on our right. We got the water on our left. So unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to use that as a screenshot since the light is more on the other side of the truck, but eh, we'll see what happens. And we got 40 more miles to go, guys, so we're nearly there. You know, one thing we haven't done today is roll down our windows. So let's roll down our windows. I love that new update. That is so cool. Roll down this side too. Really gives you a uh, better, I guess better sound, better audio. We lost a lot of speed there. There we go, get in the back now. Sorry traffic. Got a downhill too, so that's helping. Oh, we got road work it looks like. Which lane is it in? It looks like it's going to be in... The red lane... A lot of road work and stuff was going on today.
Our customer expects a delivery soon. Make sure you arrive on time. Alrighty. We're basically here. Stay right. Then exit right. Took that for granted, dude. Came way too far to wreck out. That was terrible there. My bad, guys. I, I screwed that up there. I've never been here before. Oh, well, so we just discovered a new place. Perfect. It looks like we are here. I think we're gonna be dropping off over on the right. So happy we didn't wreck out there. That would have sucked having to call the customer. Um, excuse me, sir, or business owner. Um, we wrecked out right in front of where we're supposed to be. <laughs> These hills are no joke. Like, if you don't take them properly you really get yourself into a situation Wait, how the heck am I gonna get in here uh, this is gonna be tight and I'm rolling back all right I don't think I'm gonna even make this turn Hit the mic. You may have went too wide there. I think I did. Finally, we are here. Crap! 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 crap. Oh, that's too close. I have to back up a bit. This looks like such a small yard. They want us to bring this in. So I gotta get into this green marker. Really? Really? I swear, I always make it to like the end of the videos and start doing stupid stuff like nearly crashing, stalling on my truck. I mean, I know I wasn't really driving perfect the whole way here, but I mean, boy, I always screw up at the end. Alright, let's see where they want us to place. It looks like it's gonna be right up there. I'm gonna have to watch the rear. Man, this is tight. Okay, okay, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. And of course, I'm gonna... Oh man, is this gonna clear? Ah, oh, I don't think it's gonna clear, guys. Boy. Why the heck they want me to deliver in this place? I think it would have been better if we backed it up in here. But they want me to pull it in forward. Alright, looks like we got it. Just barely. I don't know if I'm going to straighten this up in time here. I don't know, you guys think we got it? I don't think we got this. I think we're gonna have to back up somehow. Well, maybe. It may just work out. It may just work out. I think we, I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's pull straight forward. This is like such a weird job off. It's like, how the heck am I gonna get my truck out of here? Wait, there's no heck, there's things in the way. How am I supposed to drop it off? There's literally no way I could get any closer. I think we're getting cheated here, guys. The box is like inside of this structure here. Oh, man. We, we would have got it. You guys know we would have got it. But we did excellent. 
Ah, uh, we drove 224 miles, took us five hours in game again. Didn't take us that long in real life. We made $27,000. If only it was like that in real life. That would be crazy. But anyway, guys, we are done with this episode. Really do hope you guys. <laughs> that, that was just a bad drop off as you can see but uh yeah like i was saying i really do hope you guys enjoy this one thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button leave some comments down below subscribe if you are new also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video but thank you guys so much for watching I really do hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace